welcome to surface area part two cylinders. Remember surface area is the sum of the area of all the faces of a 3D figure and we're dealing with cylinders today so basically your formula for finding the surface area of a cylinder is going to be surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi rh which is actually your circumference here of that circle so you can find the middle of that rectangle and your two circles here, plus 2 pi r squared, remember to square your radius first, very important, before you multiply it times pi and then take your two circles and put that together. So we'll be using this formula for the next few examples. This is our first example. This is a cylinder. As you can see, the cylinder is made up of basically two circles, and then in the middle here, it has a rectangle. So basically these two circles you've got a radius of three inches for each one and then you've got this part here if I had turned my cylinder up I would have a height of six inches but we really don't know what this is. So the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out what the circumference of our circle is because when we find the circumference of our circle that's going to tell us what this length right here is of our cylinder rectangle that goes in the middle there. Okay, So to find our circumference of this part of our rectangle we need to find our circumference by doing pi times the diameter. If we have a radius of 3 our diameter is going to be 6. So we're going to go ahead and plug in 6 for our diameter times pi, which we're using 3.14, and then we'll have to multiply 3.14 times 6, and 6 times 4 is 24, 6, 7, 8, 18, and that's 18, <laughs> count your two decimal places. So our circumference around our circle is 18.84. So that means right here, our rectangle is 18.84 inches. So now, <laughs> so now we need to find the area of each circle. So to find our area, we know that area equals pi r squared. It's very important that we follow the order of operations and we square our radius before we multiply it times pi. So our radius is 3, so I'm going to go 3 squared times pi, which is 3.14. 3 squared is 9 times pi, 3.14. And then we can go ahead and multiply that out, and you get 28.26. So the area of our circle is 28.26. Well, we've got two circles here, so we need to add another circle there. So we'll add that to 6 and 6 is 12, 4, 5, 16. Okay, so two circles, the area is 56.52 inches squared for our two circles. Now we need to find the area of our rectangle. So we need to multiply 18. 0.84 times 6, base times height to find the area of your rectangle. So when you multiply that out, you get 113.04. So there's our rectangle. We know the area of our two circles, so we just need to add them together. So 113.04 plus 56.52 So we get 169.56 inches squared for the surface area of our cylinder. Okay, we just looked at how you find the surface area of a cylinder by taking it apart and having the two circles in the middle rectangle. Now you can use the formula where the surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h, which is actually the circumference, which we found with the net, times the height, and that's the lateral area. That's this one piece right here. Plus, 
the 2 pi r squared, that sounds familiar, that's your two circles. You've got your pi r squared, but you've got the two circles for your bases. So you can write your formula down and plug it in and say 2 times our pi, which is 3.14, times our radius, which is 3, times our height, which is 6, plus 2 times pi, 3.14, times our radius, 3 squared, and then just go ahead and work it out all the way down and you get down to where you get 169.56 inches squared, which is exactly what we got when we used the net in the last part. Okay, so go ahead and try the next two examples on your own and then you can come back and see how you did. So pause the video now, work them out, and then check it out and see how you did. Okay, so we're back and hopefully you did the example. You've got the two circles here and you've got your middle rectangle. Here's your formula. Surface area is 2 pi r h. That's actually, you've got to find your circumference around here. Time, I'm sorry, plus 2 pi r squared, your two circles, top and bottom. So go ahead and you can see that you've got 2 times pi, 3.14, times your radius, which is 5, times your height, which is 9, plus 2 times 3.14 times 5 squared. That's your circles. These are your two circles, and that's your middle rectangle, basically. And you work it out, and you get down to 436, sorry, 439.6 meters squared. You can also do the net and just do the two circles and find the area of the two circles, find the circumference of a circle, and then you can figure out your rectangle. Okay, so this is the third example. So if you use the formula here, this is what you should have got. You should have did your 2 times your pi times your radius, which is 4, times your height, which is 7, plus your two circles. Bring it down and put it together and you get 276.32 yards squared. If you did it using a net, you should have got your circle and you put your two circles together here and then your middle part, oops, your middle part here where you find the circumference and find the area of your rectangle and then just add those up if you did a net or if you did the formula. Okay, now's the time when you need to write your summary because it's very important that you process what you've just done and what you've learned. You can always go back and pause the video, look at the problem, see where you've messed up, write down any questions you have, come to tutoring if you need help, but be ready in class to ask those questions and get that information so you can solve these problems.